Hi everyone, my name is Art and today I'm going to be taking you on a journey to Hindiha Nature Park. Let's go! For today's journey, I'm going to be taking you to Hindiha not by Singapore Quarry but through this way which is going towards the main road. I'll tell you more why I chose this way. So let's go! Okay, so one of the reasons why I use this way where we're walking towards the MRT is because uh, there's a little bit more for me to talk about during the briefing. Uh, I like to compare their experience uh, walking uh, I mean, amongst the nature and also uh, the city life. So that's why I chose to go uh, via Hillview MRT. Uh, on the same day, we have got to bring our kids for a night walk to Singapore Quarry. So if I use Singapore Quarry earlier on, then uh, to me, I feel like it's like a repeat. Uh, but it's still fine. So I just like the difference between um, walking by the road where you can hear the noises and you can see people, buildings, structures before they enter the real corridor. It's more like a mood setting. So they can have a physical sense and feeling of what it's like to be in the bustling life of the city and then coming into nature where it's uh, calming, quiet you can say and uh, more relaxing. So that's one reason why I like to take my kids uh, to walk by the road. It's a nice view, so if you have the time and if it is safe, <laughs> you can bring the kids up here to look at the view.
Okay, so now we're at Hindi Her Quarry. Yes, it's pronounced Hindi Her. It's actually a Danish family name. So Hindi Her Quarry is actually named after the civil engineer, Jens. So play space is about learning. So what can we learn from this place? Most of the time, upon reaching, uh, the kids will be tired from the long hike. So I'll probably give them some time to explore this place, uh, about 10, 10 minutes, yeah. And then I'll gather them around on this deck Let's, we, we just sit in a circle, we just start to discuss. So, what are some of the questions that they might have about this place? It could be about the history, it could be about uh, what this place is all about, uh, what are some of the animals that live here. So there are many things that you can do and one example of what uh, some of us like to do is actually uh, field sketching. If you could tell someone about Hindihar Quarry, what would you like them to know? So with some colour markers and paper, I would like you to capture the essence of this place through drawing. So what can I draw? You can draw anything here. It could be about the plants, it could be about the leaves, it could be a flower, it could be an animal that you spot, or it could even be the view of the quarry. Whatever that you draw, I want you to do your best, try to capture every detail that you can, and I want you to write a short story about it. to share with you a poem that's written by a group of students from Serangoon Secondary School that I had this year in February. So it's about a leaf. They come back with a leaf uh, of their choice and I'll give them about five minutes to have a good look at the leaf and then I'll ask them uh, two questions. I wonder and then they'll complete the sentence and the other question will be if only. It's just like an impromptu sharing of I wonder and if only. And the poem goes like this. I wonder why this leaf is big. If only the leaf was a never-ending cycle. I wonder why the leaf has holes. If only this leaf has not started dying. During the gallery walk of the students drawing, usually I'll try to talk about some issues like for example uh, with the animals um, if they had drawn the turtles or the fish why can't we come here and uh, feed these animals what would happen if we start to feed them what about the environment what do you see what can you see so what do you see on the water's edge maybe sometimes you can see litter like trash, bottles, plastics. So how did this get here? How did it end up here? Is this part of nature? Is this part of Hindi Her? What will happen to the animals? What will happen to the view, the scenery of this place? There are many different kinds of activities that can be done here or anywhere that you bring your kids to. So the question is, do you come here to do the activity or does the activity help to enhance the student's learning? How the student can appreciate this place better after they've made the long hike from dairy farm to their destination. Sometimes there isn't even a need to do any activity after a long hike. It could be just as simple as leaving the campsite, experience what it's like to be on a hike, surrounded by nature, reaching the destination, and just let the experience speak for itself.